Welcome to the DK Custom Products channel. My name is Dwayne, this is Kevin. Now the other day somebody wrote in and asked us uh, what type of oil we use and how often we service the oil. And that's in all three holes. Yeah, so we got the question, what oil do we use in each of the three holes and how often do we change it? And real quick, uh, we have a video on oil that mm -hmm. we'll put in the upper corner here, and you can read that any oil is okay. But just to answer, because it gets asked a lot, I use Redline in the engine, I use Sin 3 in the primary, and I use Redline shock heavy-duty shockproof in the transmission. Now, how often to change it is the big question. Yeah, and the answer will surprise you, because a lot of you are watching this like, well, why are you making a video? I'll just look in my manual. Yeah, and uh, it, this was brought to our attention maybe six or eight months ago. And when it was brought to our attention, I went, I knew that, but I had forgotten. Yeah. Here's the simple thing, is that the Harley manual says to change the oil in the engine, every oil and oil filter every 5,000 miles. Mm -hmm. It says to change the primary every 10,000. It says to change the transmission oil every 20,000. Right, the manual, the most recent manuals say that. This is something I've been doing because I looked at the manual mm -hmm. and I read it. But I went back and looked at one of my old manuals, okay? This is from a 2003 and it says to change the oil every 5,000 miles, right? Mm -hmm. 10,000, 15,000. So you change the oil every 5,000 miles, the same as the current manual. Mm -hmm. But looky here, primary and transmission, every 5,000 miles. Mm -hmm. So in 2003, every 5,000 yeah. miles for the primary and transmission. Right. In 2000 and 14, and I think the change occurred somewhere in 2007, 2008, but in 2014 manual, it's saying 5,000 on the engine, which is the same, but 10,000 on the primary yeah. and 20,000 on the transmission. Now there's no difference no. in the primary <laughs> and the transmission in 14 versus three. Why do they have in the manual 10,000 and 20,000 for the primary and the transmission when it used to be 5,000. So what about, is it maybe updated is it, oil? Is it the oil? Well, here is Harley's Formula Plus for transmission and pr primary crankcase lubrication. This is what they recommend for the primary and the transmission in 2003 mm -hmm. and in 2022 and everywhere in between. Now, can you use Sin 3? Yes, you can use Sin 3, but this is what they sell today mm -hmm. for that. So nothing changed right. in the lubrication, in, in the properties of the oil or the fluid. Mm -hmm. So why did they do it? So let's go to the <laughs> Harley website. Keep in mind, one thing to remember about Harley-Davidson is they're very much an auto manufacturer, just like Ford or Chevrolet. So, you know, one of the big driving things for manufacturers these days is emissions. And so Harley has it, you know, right here, you can see it right here on this website. Their goal is to be at zero emissions by 2050. So they got to get a head start on that right now. So they're trying to reduce their carbon footprint. Yeah. Now, if you're not aware of what an ESG score is, look it up, do some research for yourself and see that Harley's trying to achieve certain ESG points by reducing their carbon footprint. Now that affects their bottom line, it affects their profit. You know, Harley is publicly traded, so that's a big thing. The ESG points are a huge driving factor and why Harley's telling you now to change your primary fluid at a later interval than they used to. And, and it's really simple. Uh, we can't say this, an e ESG score is primarily for publicly traded companies mm -hmm. and it's a show, social rating score for corporations and it affects who invests, how much a mutual fund will put in, all that kind of stuff. They want to reduce their carbon footprint. Hey, if you change the primary every 10,000 to every 5,000, you get more points for yeah. that. 
if you change your transmission every 20,000 mm -hmm. instead of every 5,000, you get more points for that. So what they want to do is reduce their carbon footprint, get a better ESG score. And so they've just changed how often right. they, you, you change that. They've already sold you the bike. They've already made their money off of you. It's not in their best interest for that bike to last you 100,000 miles. And so I, I don't remember how it happened. I remember I used to do everything, change everything every three to 5,000 yeah. miles. I still, if I've run really hard or really hot, will change my oil every three, four. I never go over 5,000 miles. Mm -hmm. and, and I run synthetic, which does last longer than conventional. But at some point, I started a making my intervals between the uh, primary change and transmission change longer because it was in manual and I never thought about it. Yeah. But it is purely... There's no other conclusion to come to. It's for carbon footprint, reducing their carbon footprint, not for making the bike run better. So I'm going back to every time I do an oil, engine oil change, I'm doing my transmission and my primary. Right. And that's the short answer to the question, how often do we recommend changing the fluids and what do we use? Now, if you want to help Harley achieve zero emissions, change it every 10 to 15,000 miles. But if you want to keep your bike healthy, when you change the engine oil at 5,000 miles, change the transmission. And change I got this disclaimer. I've ridden hundreds of thousands of miles doing it the new way, mm -hmm. changing it at 10 and 20 rather than at 5. But common sense just, and I've not had any problem, not had any problem out of my primary or my transmission. So I'm not saying that you will if you go that long, but I'm saying just putting two and two together, nothing's changed with the uh, fluid that Harley recommends right. or with the mechanical stuff, and they used to recommend every 5,000, I'm going to go back to changing all of them uh, just to be on the safe side and keep things right. pristine. And that's our recommendation for you guys as well. Every 5,000 miles, change it all. One thing is, is that people are used to seeing a little bit of metal on their drain plug for the primary and the transmission. Not a lot, just a little mm -hmm. bit of, uh, you know, stuff ground up, you know, and attracted to that. And I get that too. I don't get shavings, but I get that fuzzy kind of yeah. stuff on there. But I've been changing it 10 and 20. What's going to be really interesting is if I go back to changing it every 5,000, four or 5,000, am I still going to get that? Or was I accelerating the wear by waiting that long? I don't know. Well, I can tell you this. Whenever I see the little magnet, I feel like it's maxed out. No more sediment or metal can be attached to that magnet. Oh, really? So if you're at 10,000 miles, your magnet, <laughs> it's covered. It's not yeah. catching anything. So I feel my opinion is change it every 5,000 miles. Keeps that magnet active. So let us know in the comments below, Hoff, and you change your transmission, primary, and engine. And if with this information, is it going to change anything that you're doing? <laughs> right. Because... Uh, when my when my memory was jostled and I went back to the manuals, I decided to go ahead and change it more frequently. Uh, so leave a comment below on that. If you found this video useful or interesting, please give it a thumbs up. We'd appreciate that. It helps us out. That's right. And if you guys have any questions at all about anything you've seen in this video, shoot me an email to support at dkcustomproducts.com. Y'all ride safe out there.